Okay, welcome to 2965 Denali Drive. This is the front yard, uh, very minimal. All of these plants are on a watering system and so you, it has very minimal care. And then right across, that is where the planned park will start construction of this year. Um, what's really nice about this location is that the parking will actually be on the other side. So this will all be greenery and I will send you a map of what the park is going to look at. And so going in, you have the living room. The curtains are actually left by the tenants. We just didn't take them down because uh, they look pretty nice. And then some storage right here. It goes pretty deep. And then you have a half bath right here. And then going in, this would be your dining area. She did upgrade the quality of the carpets. Um, although I do see minimal staining a little bit right here. Um, but the quality overall is good. It's not just the standard carpet. And then we have the kitchen. Pendant lighting. These are the appliances. It was a actually a military couple that was renting in the past year and they actually kept it pretty clean. You have your dishwasher, LG fridge. And so you could open it up like that. Hit the button. Or Open it up like this. And then freezer. And this would be your pantry. And so you do have, it does go back pretty far ways. Cause see, I can fit my arm, <laughs> arm through there. And then all of the storage along here. And then we'll check out the backyard. So she did pavers, which is really nice. Um, and then added this green area. So if you have a dog. And then this is around the house on the side. And this is the backyard. So she did it very low maintenance. Um, you've got some trees, some plants, um, and you could come up with however you wanted to decorate the backyard. And then we'll go in, take a look here. This is just a desk, some more storage over here. And a closet. And then we'll go into the garage. So all of this would come with the property or I could take it all down and remove it. Um, what's nice is these models don't usually have these. Um, and so this is just more storage. And then the renters actually put these mirrors up and used it as a gym, um, but you do have some broken glass right there. And then this side of the house is where you put your trash cans. Um, again, she did pavers on the side. And then you would just put your trash cans right here. And then the park, the second park that I was talking about is actually right here. So what's nice about this location is that you do have parking. Parking is kind of a downside to Sea Haven because a lot of people have problems with parking when it comes to these models because they're usually models on the other side with an alleyway and no parking and you're not allowed to park on the alleyway. So you do have parking right here, which is really, really nice to have. And then this is just a mini park because this is, was actually the first phase of Sea Haven, so they did do this park right at the beginning to have, so you'll have one. 
in the back of your house and then one in the front of your house. And then we'll move on to the upstairs. Okay, so we'll go on up the stairs. Again, you have the upgraded flooring, um, which is one of the upgrades that she did. Then you enter, you have this storage area. You can make this into a working area and put in a desk, however you want it to do this. Uh, go in right here. This is your first bedroom. Closet. And then this is your second bedroom. I tried turning this light on. Um, I already texted the seller so we can get that fixed. I think it's something to do with the lamp. Um, that right there. And then this would be the kids' bathroom. Bathtub and shower, just one sink, and then storage right there, and storage right here. And so what's really nice about this model, it is the biggest model of this um, particular uh, oh, category. <laughs> I guess you would say. And so this is the, the biggest one. So it's the only one that has the upstairs loft. So you can use it as another bedroom or what I would do, I would use it as a second living room for the kids. And so another upgrade she did was she installed these, which you can actually see that she did some electrical work too in the bedrooms um, as an upgrade. And so this is the only one that has the upstairs loft. And so it's really nice to have, um, especially when you have kids. I I have the smallest model and so I only have three bedrooms. It doesn't have the loft and I, I really wish I, I, we got this plan instead. Um, and then upstairs laundry room, uh, washer, dryer, and so you have a lot of storage um, in the cabinets right here. And then more storage right here. You can see it from another angle. And this is the master bedroom. And again, you have this hookup right here for a TV. These are upgrades. Um, I did wanna say that homes here do not have AC in Monterey. It's a lot different from Texas and Arizona because you don't necessarily need AC. So no one has it, but there are a couple days in the summer where you really do wish you had AC. Um, I, question, I question ourselves every year for just a couple days. Wow, we really need AC. So these are upgrades. So when she added this in, I think that's really neat. Um, then you have a little balcony right here that overlooks the park. And then you actually, you can't see it on the camera, but you actually got a little tiny bit of ocean view. You can't really see it from here. I, I wouldn't even, I would just count it as like a peak of the ocean. Uh, but you are really close to the ocean. <laughs> and then we'll get into the bathroom the closet. And again, these curtains, the tenants left. And so this bathroom is a really nice size. It's, it's much bigger than the other models in this collection. Uh, she added this when she did the tenants easy to take out. Um, again, more storage here, and then storage all along there, 
And then this is a uh, custom cabinetry for the closet. Because when you do buy new construction, they actually, the builder doesn't include anything um, for storage. And so it's really nice to have. Let's see if I've got some drawers. And we'll do one last walk through the upstairs. And this is your thermostat. And that would be your attic up there. Bathroom. And last bedroom, which does not have the wiring on the wall. Only the second and master bedroom does. And that's it. Thanks, guys.